Whitney Houston, a legendary voice, silenced. She was a beautiful person. The tributes made in her honor and the questions surrounding the pop superstar's sudden death. You have a standing order to allow people to record it. Defending his right to record. The fact that we're recording shouldn't matter. The video that's raising questions about police policy and the investigation now underway. Looking at chilly temperatures through the overnight for tomorrow morning starting out clear but cold. How cold it'll get coming up in my Skywatch forecast. Beaten, kicked, and slammed to the ground. The man charged with the crime and why the victim may have been targeted. Live in high definition from WBFF-TV in Boulder, this is Fox 45 News at 10. Good evening, thanks for joining us. I'm Jennifer Gilbert. A federal Hill man is defending his right to record. The video that you see right here behind me is raising questions about a newly released police policy. It's a story you saw first on Fox. Janice Park tells us the dispute between Scott Cover and city police is now at the center of an internal investigation. No, I, I'm, just I, I'm not asking anything. Scott Cover is a self-proclaimed tech geek. So it's no surprise he took out his cell phone. Enjoyed. And started recording six Baltimore City police officers hovering over a man in cuffs. The person was on the ground. It was Friday night in Federal Hill, near the popular Bar McGurk. And Cover says that when he got out his phone around 2 a.m. that morning, it was an impulse move and he thought it would be worth recording. Cover says the focus quickly shifts to him. And a female really? shift commander heads his way. All right. I, and you, you guys do know you have a standing order to allow people to record it. But Cover knew his right. Earlier that day, police made a public general order. It says no member of the Baltimore Police Department may prohibit any person's ability to photograph and or make a video recording of police activity that occurs in the public domain. After Fox 45 sent the video to police, it has now been sent to Internal Affairs for an investigation. She has the handcuffs out, and she's saying, you know, that she's going to take you to jail, you know, if everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. The fact that we're recording shouldn't matter. Cover insists he wasn't loitering and has made a formal complaint with police. And he's not the only one. Tomorrow, city police are hoping a judge will dismiss a federal suit where the ACLU alleges that a city officer violated a man's constitutional rights by deleting his cell phone video at the 2010 Preakness. I am leaving. As for Scott Cover, tonight he says the policy may be on paper, I, but the I'm proof is haven't... on the tape. What? I'm leaving. Dana Park, Fox 45 News I'm at leaving. 10. Turn around and walk. Give me your ID. To see more.